Photoshop, Affinity Photo. Go to the View menu, Pattern Preview on, New Guy Layout, 2 and 2 for the rows and columns, and Snap and Snap to Guides, Layers and Document Bounds. Go to the Line tool, you can find that in the Tools panel, maybe in a different position, depending on customization. Set to Shape, set the Fill to Nothing, Stroke to Black, and set the value to zero. Go to one of the corners, click and drag to the other corner and release. Go up to the stroke width and set it to a value, any value. Go to the tools panel, select the rectangle tool, create a white rectangle from top to bottom. Then create another rectangle in black from top to bottom. Go to the white rectangle and fill the entire document. Just drag there, so it's filled there. Now you can resize the black one if you want a fairly thin line for your diagonal line. You can make it very thin, or you can make it slightly bigger. Select the black and simply select both of the rectangles and then go up to the alignment, just up here at the top, vertical and there, so everything's nicely aligned. Then go to layer and down to merge visible that will turn it into a pixel layer and then go to a layer and new pattern layer from selection resize and i'm going to remove the other layers so just remove those select those remove and now you can see you've got your pattern and you can just rotate it or scale it and you can see your black and white line to define the pattern in Photoshop, go to Edit Menu and Define Pattern. That will store it away in the Pattern Presets. In Affinity Photo, there's no Pattern Presets, so go to View, Studio and Assets. Go to the right side menu of Assets and make sure you've got the pattern selected and go to Add from Selection. And it's saved away for future use. Go to the Layers panel and drag and just go to the little plus that's at the bottom. That duplicates that layer. Also drag that one again, and then you get another one. So you've got three, all just created by the plus. Just go to the Align tool, and with the Align tool set, go to the stroke up here. You can see the stroke there, set the color. Just go for red. You can also change the width as well. So maybe reduce it or increase it, up to you. Go to the next one, Line copy the one there it says, Go for the stroke, maybe make that blue. You don't have to go with this color scheme, of course, and change the width and maybe make it bigger. Up to you again on that. Go to the last one and then just change that to green. So you've got three now, red, blue and green. And I'm going to keep the same size. Now what you can do, I can move them. So with that one there, just drag. I selected the red one first. Go with that one and the blue one and you just move it. Just drag it down like that, and you've got now these lines. So it's a far more complex, colourful design. What you can then do is you can go to Edit and Define Pattern. Give it a name and OK. In Affinity Photo, go to the Rectangle tool. Drag from top to bottom to create a rectangle. Go to the Swatches panel and set to Red. Go over to the Move tool and then hold down the Alt or Option key and drag to create a duplicate. Then go and change the color to blue. You can also resize it. So if you want a slightly bigger line, you don't have to have the same size, maybe thinner or bigger. Now, hold down the alter option key again and drag. And this time, make certain you don't go off the edge. What you want is to be exactly along there. Maybe go for green. Select all three of the layers Go up to Layer and then to Merge Visible. With that done, go to Layer Menu and New Pattern Layer from Selection. Select all of the lower layers and remove them by clicking the Delete. You've now got your pattern design. You can now resize it and rotate the pattern design. If you want to save it to your assets, go over to the Assets panel again and Right Side Menu and Add from Selection. 
In Photoshop, you can use patterns in numerous ways. Go to Layer Menu, New Fill Layer, and Pattern. One example. Click OK. Now you can see a number of patterns here, all following the same sort of approach. Diagonal lines, and just simply change the pattern. And also what you can do, you can always change the angle. You can also change the scale for them as well. So make them smaller or bigger. In Affinity Photo, simply go over to the assets and drag from the assets and add it to the current document. And then you can resize the design, rotate it, modify it in numerous ways. Simply select another one and just drag, select and drag, select and drag, and resize and modify and angle the pattern design. And you can combine them as well and much, much more. Do I prefer Photoshop over Affinity Photo when it comes to creating diagonal patterns? Well, years ago I might have said, well, yes, I probably prefer Affinity Photo's approach. However, now with the pattern preview in Photoshop, I love it, it's so easy to create. Affinity Photo is also superb now with the pattern layer feature. I love that, you can just quickly create any design, virtually instantaneously turn it into a pattern. However, Unfortunately, patterns are not sort of used as a resource within Infinity Photo. You can set them up into assets, you can drag them over, but that's really about it. You can obviously combine them in multiple ways, but Photoshop has got a lot more ways of using them, I think. But you can use them, of course, in Infinity Photo with lots of the effects to great effect. I think it's just a wonderful in both ways. So you might prefer one to the other. How do you feel? Do you prefer the Photoshop approach? Do you have problems with it? Do you find, I must admit, one issue I always have with Photoshop is all dialogues. So that's one thing that's always bugged me in Photoshop. But with Affinity Photo, it's just a few quirks, especially where you have to define a sort of fill for the, if you just want a single line, you can't just select that and then create that as a pattern layer because it just makes the whole thing black or a solid color. So you have to sort of create an additional path for it. It's not a major issue. I mean, have you found problems with creating diagonal lines? You had issues, what sort of issues you had? Please put some comments or some issues that you've had that maybe other things you'd like to see in terms of creation of diagonal lines. What other effect, maybe layer effects. I haven't done anything for that. So please put some comments on that. Also, a dislike or like. Always appreciated. Always nice to know if I'm doing something right or doing something wrong. Thank you much.